Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. Have you ever gotten a question on a test and you don't know how to answer it and you don't even know what it's asking you? We're gonna look at one question on preparing a solution together and I'm gonna show you what it looks like in real life. So this one says, how many grams of NaCl and it gives you the molar mass of 58.4 grams are needed to prepare 0.5 liters of a 1.5 molar solution. Well, the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find moles. And you can do that with your molarity formula or you can use our triangle. If we're looking for moles, you're gonna end up doing molarity times volume because they're side by side. Or you can just rearrange that equation and get the same thing. So we're gonna do the 1.5 molar and we're gonna multiply that by the 0.5 liters, so molarity times volume, and we end up getting 0.75 moles. Now that we have moles, we need to go ahead and convert that moles into grams. And we're gonna to need to use our one-step stoichiometry bridge in order to do that. If you don't remember how to do that, I'm gonna link a video down below um, in order to kind of refresh your memory, okay? So we're gonna put that 0.75 moles in our stoichiometry bridge. Diagonal down has to be the same thing. So one mole is gonna equal the molar mass which they gave us. If, it, if they didn't give it to you, you can go to the periodic table and calculate it. If you can't remember how to calculate molar mass, I'll put that video down in the description below as well so you can get all caught up. So if we do the math on this, you end up getting 43.83 grams of NaCl is what you're gonna need in order to make that solution. Here's what this looks like in real life. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna measure out that 43.83 grams of our NaCl, which is just sodium chloride or regular table salt. And you can see that I'm trying to make it exact as possible. It's hard to see those numbers on the electronic scale, um, but it is exact. So once I get that measured out, I'm gonna put it in the bottom of my flask. A round bottom would be perfect for this, um, but I don't have one, so flask is the next best thing. And then you're gonna go ahead and fill it up to 0.5 liters, which is equivalent to 500 milliliters of water. So once you get it up to there, all you have to do is give this a really good stir. You can even put a cork on this or a stopper and give it a shake if you wanted to. But once it's well dissolved and incorporated, you have prepared your solution and you are good to go. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see how easy it is to prepare a solution now. And when you look at those word problems on your test or quiz, you'll be able to understand where those numbers came from and what exactly is going on there, right? I hope this was helpful. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody.